Hey everyone, today I am going to show you my foundation routine. So I finally decided to go ahead and show you guys how I apply my foundation, you know, what products I use, what tools I use, and um, you know, what techniques I use to apply my concealer and powder. And in this video, I use some of my most favorite face products and products that I have been using for the past few months now that I've just been so obsessed with. And it's just great to finally get to show you guys what I do on a daily basis. So here we go. Okay, so I hope the lighting is alright. It's really gloomy today and it just started pouring rain outside. And I'm going to be using my favorite foundation today of all time, which is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And I know that choosing foundations can be very difficult, but once you find the right one, it's just so amazing and I'm just so happy that I have this because it has been perfect for me. The formula, the color, just everything about it I love, except for the price. It's like $42. This is the shade N110 and this is the second to lightest one. I believe that there is another one that's lighter than this. This foundation comes with a pump so I like to just pump it on my hand like so and I usually just use one. I like to just start dabbing the foundation where I think I need it most with my finger. Then after that, I go ahead and I blend it out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this brush with foundations because it just, it's dense and the bristles are synthetic so it's perfect for liquid foundation, cream foundation. I even like to use it for my cream blushes. This brush is just so amazing with um, liquid products and cream products. So Once I blend out all the little dots that I made with the foundation, I just start blending outwards. As you can see, I still have, you know, darkness under my eyes. I'm just laying on the foundation. I'm not doing concealer yet. That comes later. I like to just make sure my skin is all an even tone, and I just like to make sure the foundation is buffed in, you know, like into my jawline. Make sure it's all matching. Um, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that you know, concealer is the thing that corrects all the redness or blemishes or dark spots and foundation is just to even out your skin tone. So that's why I just like to do my concealing after my foundation. So now that I have my foundation blended out all with my brush, I like to just really perfect it and make sure that there's no streaks left behind from the brush or anything like that. And I use my beauty blender for this. It's I like to use the bottom for the bigger parts of my face. And um, I just find that it really makes your skin and your foundation like one. It really just kind of melts and blends everything together. Well, melts isn't the right word, but it just kind of makes your foundation look like second skin. And I've used this on other people, you know, I've used it on myself and I just really cannot get enough of it. I think it's amazing. I use the other part, the kind of pointier end under my eye area like so and get into my nose. Even though this foundation is quite expensive, I think that it's amazing. It gives you great coverage. They have tons of shades to choose from. This one matches me perfectly, and um, I just love the coverage. I mean, you guys saw what I looked like before, and I think that this is pretty great even without concealer. I really like the way that it um, covered everything and evened out my skin tone. Now for concealer. I usually use um, my Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, but I'm out of that right now, and I'm actually testing out something new, and I really like it so I am going to use my uh, little sample of the amazing it's called amazing cosmetics the company and the concealer is called amazing concealer and this color is really great for my skin it's very brightening and it does give really full coverage so I've just been loving it and I'm going to use my real techniques base shadow brush to apply this and I like to take the concealer into my tear duct and under my eye area um, a lot of people just do under their eye area, but lots of times um, you can tell that your tear duct area is kind of shadowy and sometimes that darkness, um, you know, gets up in there too. And I find that it brightens up my eye a lot more than just doing my under eye area. And now I'm going to use my beauty blender, the tapered side, to just kind of once again blend everything in. 
I really like the look of this concealer. Once again, it's the Amazing Concealer in the lightest shade. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it down below. And I think I'm going to buy this in the full size because I really do like the way that it covers. I like the color of it. It really brightens up my under eye area. And you can also use it on your face too, so I'm also going to do that. I'm just going to take what's left in my little sample here and um, put a little bit on my chin, a little bit down my nose and just a tiny, tiny bit on the top of my forehead. So just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I really love this for concealer too. I just think it's it's so great with, once again, liquid and cream products. Um, you could use it for blush if you want. I just, I love this sponge. It's so great for so many things. So that's concealer done and um, you can see that my skin all looks like one tone now and um, you can still see my freckles a little bit. I wasn't trying to cover them but this has such full coverage and so does the concealer so I end up covering them most of the time. But you can still see the ones like on the other parts of my face. So now what I like to do is powder my face and I have dry skin so I don't use much powder. So to powder I'm going to use my favorite powder which is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. And since I don't powder my whole face I'm going to use a smaller brush and my favorite one is this powder blush brush, the F10 from Sigma and I just kind of lightly cover the whole top of the brush with a little bit of powder and I tap it. I like to make sure I get my T-zone. I start off at my forehead and then I come down to my nose, get both sides of my nose, powder a little bit here, and get the chin. And that's all I do. I just make sure that I definitely get powder on my T-zone area and then for what's ever left on the brush, I just kind of go here a little bit on my cheekbones and um, that's really all I powder because um, right now especially in the colder months my skin gets a little bit more dry than normal and I don't like to powder a lot so yeah that's all I do for my foundation and once I'm done with that I usually go in and do my other makeup and um, usually my routine only takes me about half an hour and uh, maybe 25 minutes if I'm going extra fast. My foundation is what takes me the longest to do so um, I just figured that I'd show you guys how I do it. So I hope this video answered your questions and um, you know if it didn't just feel free to leave any of your questions or comments down below and I will definitely get back to you. I love hearing from you guys. If anything changes over the next few months I'll definitely do an updated foundation routine but for now that's what I've been doing for like the past five months or so and as always I will list everything that I'm wearing and um, everything that I used in this video down below in the description and as always thank you so much for watching